high property and rental prices and a growing demand for housing in West London means local residents are being priced out of the area. The London Borough of Hounslow is supplying new housing, but crucially tailoring it to different budgets, from social rent to shared ownership. Duncan Golastani explains. In the London Borough of Hounslow, there is somewhere for everyone. Covering 22 square miles from Chiswick in the west to Heathrow Airport in the east, it's a diverse area, attracting more and more residents. There is no sign of let up in the demand for new housing. The population of Hounslow is expected to increase to 300,000 by 2022. That means new homes are needed, but there also has to be consideration for the existing community. A two bedroom property in Hounslow requires an average income of £72,000 to get a mortgage, pricing out many locals. But shared ownership is a lifeline to many who don't want to leave the borough. There are working families who will aspire to actually own their own homes. And for that, we want to ensure a good supply of shared ownership homes, starter homes, that people can actually uh, uh, enter into, but escalate into home ownership. Hounslow plans to deliver 5,000 affordable homes by 2022. 2,000 will be for shared ownership, not luxury apartments, but homes local people can afford. People like Sarah, who rents locally and wants to get on the housing ladder. Considering the lack of housing and the amount of people waiting to be housed, I think it's a brilliant thing. From owning to renting, making sure people can stay in the borough is a priority. That means more affordable homes for social rent. I think that's one of the biggest challenges we have because it's not just about uh, attracting new people into the borough, it's about the people who already live here. So we have a very ambitious council health building programme where we want to build a thousand new homes and those homes are for local people. To meet the growing demand for homes, Hounslow, like many authorities, has found itself back in the position of building properties. Quantity is important, but so is quality. Hounslow believes it can offer better homes than many private landlords. One of the schemes that's been built quite recently, where a leisure centre has been built and alongside it on the same site, uh, new housing, and a park all sitting together, working really well together. Um, and that shows the opportunity the council's taken to bring amenities together with housing uh, and create a much better place for people. Of course, it's not just about homes, but the facilities and services that go around them. From schools to GP surgeries, Hounslow is making sure new people are catered for while protecting and investing in the services for existing residents. It all comes down to giving people a say over the area they live in. It's incredibly important because it's their home, it's where they live um, and we really want um, the communities to shape their home and the place that they live in um, rather than us as the council telling them what it is they need. We know there's a need for housing, we know there's a need for other facilities but the way that that's implemented um, should be shaped by the community itself. So with new homes and improvements to the borough, residents are at the heart of Hounslow's efforts. Property, after all, is really about people.